Hey guys, Sean from Tech Boss TV here. Today we're looking at Windows 8 running on the Android tablet. And how that works is you use Splashtop Windows 8 testbed. So you can download that from the Android market. Uh, right, we'll get straight into it. So basically what it is, it's a VNC server that connects to your computer, um, home, work, wherever you've got it set up. So, and it isn't a free application. So you are looking at about $50 US on the Android market to download this. And it does only work on tablets, does not work on mobiles. So we'll connect to this. So I've got this running in the other room, so it's connecting via Wi-Fi. Cool, so this is the Metro UI that you're probably all used to. So it is pretty smooth, so it does work. Um, so you do have the full functionality that you do on your computer. So for example, if you go into Internet Explorer, we've got a video here of Jelly Bean on the Desire Z. So if we click play, oops, play, it will play and hopefully, Oh, unless I didn't record any audio. Oh. Yep, I may not have. Okay, so let's play something that I've put audio on. Like this one here. So we'll see if the audio plays through. And it's not. Oh. I said it too much. On today's episode, we're going to be... So we'll see if this plays. Tech Boss TV. Uh, Sean from Tech Boss TV here and with an unboxing audio video for you today. Through the computer. Uh, today we have the LG L7. Um, this is the P. So yes, you can see that works very well. And you've got all of the shortcuts you would on a tablet. So if you slide from the right in, you can access all of that menu there. So you've got your start button there. So you can access your start menu. Um, if you slide from the left hand side across, like this, It'll show you your last window you had open, you let go, it'll open it. If you don't let go, oh shit, sorry, and you go back, it'll show you all the windows you have open. So I've also got my desktop open there. And from there you can you can access everything. So if I wanted to open up a folder for example, the folder opens. It's very, very great software. Um, it's not it's not you won't be able to use this as a tablet because it is a little bit slow, um, as I can show you here. But it is great for testing your software. That's very loud. So turn that down. So if you create a new game. So it does work, it's just a little bit behind. So it is still a lot of fun to play around with the touch screen. Maybe it'll happen, we'll see. Uh, it does seem to lag a little bit once you get a few pieces of fruit up on the screen. Oh. Oh, so it's actually quite well this time. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Everything works perfectly fine. If you need it, if you want any help with that, ask the questions down in the comments below. Um, it did, when I first ran it, I ran it with the latest version, which is 1.0.1.1 at the time of recording this. That didn't work with this tablet, so I did have to revert back to 1.0.0.5. Yeah. Um, and that seems to work fine. The latest version just gave me a black screen when I logged in. The touch screen was still working because the screen was moving on my computer, but I just couldn't see anything. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, pad Payphone 2 video coming up hopefully very, very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.